conscience and to wake everybody up, to hand out DVDs of my movie, to hand out DVDs of your movie, to educate everybody to what's going on. Well, freedom and liberty is what, Amer is what people are, really want, you know, and it's time to stop the duplicity of the government from lying to us. You see, many, many people know the truth of what's happening in this country. They know the truth, like the numbers you gave about 9-11, but they're afraid to stand up. People have to find their courage and stand up and say, I'm not going to take this anymore. I know the truth, you know, and uh, it's like they create a situation where if you tell the truth, you, you're considered uh, a lunatic. You know, in other words, if, if someone goes on a TV show and says, 9-11 is inside job, oh, you're an idiot, you're crazy. They call you names. You can't be afraid of that. Well, it doesn't work anymore. Is, I mean, they have no facts. Just calling you crazy doesn't make you crazy. Well, we know that. They also go get kooks, who are kooks, to put them on and then say they represent us. That's, That's right. Exactly. Another tactic. Exactly. Exactly. And Bill O'Reilly is great at that. Sean Hannity is great at that. They just put people on who they can dominate, you know. But Why well, do you think guys like that, they're not stupid. I mean, I've taught people that know They know the truth. Why do you think they decide to join the evil? And, and it has to be in their hearts. I mean, I had the opportunity to do that, and then in my heart, I couldn't do it. So, it has well, I mean, to... how could you or I consciously be involved in something like putting AIDS virus in black Africans' vaccines? I mean, what the hell? I mean, it, it, it's like we're not good guys either. I mean, I don't think I'm like some special perfect person. What, what the hell's wrong with this elite? I mean, what are they running around doing evil? I mean, they just run around continually doing evil. Well, I, I think I think a lot of them think they're doing the right thing. I think a lot of them think they're doing the right thing. Not not the top elite, but people within the system, you know. But I think that uh, it's all it's all about. Uh, as Nick said to me, it's about control and power. They have all the money they want. They can make all the money they want. They they have a machine that can make all the money. <laughs> it's not about money. It's about control. It's about their vision of how they want to see the world, in their eyes, and. Um, you know, you and I believe in individuality, in the person being the dominant thing, the individual being the dominant person. Today we live in a world where institutions are dominant, not people. You know, the American, you know, we the people by the people for the people. Now it's we the institutions by the institutions for the institutions. People are secondary. It's all about corporations and institutions. And the Federal Reserve is the biggest institution in the world. You know, if you ask somebody what's the biggest corporation in the world, they'll say uh, Google or Walmart or Ad Exxon or something. But the biggest corporation in the world is the Federal Reserve System, right? And all the other corporations feed off the nipple of the Federal Reserve System. Well, it's like the Monopoly game. Uh, the bank always wins. It has unlimited money. It's not the people playing on the board. Exactly. The bank owns the board, the box, the, right. the and shelf it's sitting on. So, so... But that's because you gave them the ability to make the money. You have to take that away from them. You take the bank away from the private bankers. Exactly. You have to take the creation of money away from the private bankers, and you'll solve 95% of your problems. Well, let me look at America. 10% growth rates every year like China's having right now. The U.S. had 10% growth rates until the Federal Reserve took over. And then if you look at that, it all starts really going downhill from there. And, and well, they destroyed the American worker. They, what they've done, here's what's happened. The, the Federal Reserve has created this massive inflation in America, which means that the American worker has to keep making more money to keep up uh, uh, with the cost of living. The more money they make to keep up the cost of living, the less competitive they become in the world economy. So now what happens is we have to pay our workers so much to keep up the cost of living, say, well, screw the American worker, let's go overseas now and get the cheap labor. But really, that's and a war being waged against the middle class. Of course, the bankers is. print the money. That I mean, really, this is a war being waged against the middle class. The bankers print the money. Everything they're doing is about destroying any private pools of wealth or independence. Yeah, but the, what, the, what I'm trying to say is, because of the inflation that they've created, they, they've now allowed other countries to outcompete us. You see, because other countries don't have to pay as much money as we have to pay here to our workers to survive. Yes. So now we're not competitive anymore. So we've lost our manufacturing base. We've lost our competitive. In the, in the old days, the American worker, 
You want to buy everything American. You wouldn't buy anything from Japan. This was cheap crap. And what does that leave us? It leaves America this military force, and so the elites giving us a deal. We'll continue to build up your military and give you homeland security jobs, shift your economy over to being the bulldog enforcer of the New World Order. Exactly. You can do, and, and by controlling the economy, they force everybody into that position. That's exactly correct. That's exactly correct. And we, 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 there's no more manufacturing here. We're a service economy. We do nothing. We provide nothing. We provide nothing to the rest of the world anymore. Well, first of all, Proof of Fascism is a movie that everybody should see because we, 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 sh we show the fraud of the uh, income tax. We show how judges put people in jail for no reason. We, sh we show the corruption of the justice system. And we show how the Federal Reserve came into being and how it's controlling society. And, uh, the new, and how all the uh, central banks of the world are working together through the Bank of International Settlements in, in uh, Switzerland, uh, which is the central bank for all the central banks and how they all work together to create this one world government, the one world order, which is what they're trying to do. So uh, Fear of Fascism is a movie just to get you a good basic education about how the world is really working. And I really want everybody to see that movie, critical. In terms of the uh, CFR, in terms of compartmentalization, I mean, there are many good people, I believe, that are part of these organizations who don't even understand what the organization is really about. People like, like when I was in Germany doing cancer treatment, uh, there was a gentleman there who was a uh, visiting a friend of his who had cancer. And he was a member of the CFR. And uh, we were talking. And uh, I showed him the movie. He said, oh my God, I'm going to resign. I had no idea this was what the CFR was about.